Welcome to yet another Omsky video. And the only thing I'm going to say right now is my season is maybe not over. I'll explain in a second. It's been probably like, I want to say, a month since I posted last. I'm sorry, but that's the usual thing I do when I go into a more heavy training zone, which we were. As many of you already know, I was not named to the world team, which you'd think would probably be the end of the season, but it turns out there's more. So I'm happy. Okay, I was disappointed I didn't make the world team, but I've been told by Skate Canada, you gotta keep training. Again, we're not certain with anything. Like always, nothing is certain, but they told me, keep training. So what am I doing? I'm training. So some of you may have noticed, it's actually uh, really bright outside. The York region recently opened up a little bit, which means less restrictions, which means more skating times, more ice time. So now, I get to skate in the afternoon, even though I was sort of getting used to skating in the morning, nothing beats skating in the afternoon and going to sleep at midnight and sleeping for 10 hours. Nothing beats it. So, here we are. The only thing is Toronto has not opened up, so York region and Toronto region, there's two different regions, right? So Toronto didn't open up, which is why this is still present. Remember in the past when I complained about my hair being long? What a joke that was. Like, that was a complete joke. <laughs> I'm on the 401 right now, which is like the biggest highway in Canada, I'm pretty sure. And I was gonna drive back to the rink, but as I was driving, like thankfully I was in the right lane, my check engine light started flashing. So then something popped up in my head. My dad's car is a Hyundai Sonata, 2013 I believe. There's been a recall, not really a recall. Hyundai um, made a statement saying that there have been a few of those cars catching fire, blowing up essentially and they were investigating it but I don't know if they did an actual recall and there are more situ- okay hold on <sighs> okay so like I was saying I was saying that these cars were exploding so I freaked out I'm like okay let's get off the highway but literally the instant I thought that I'm trying to gas nothing I'm flooring this gas I'm trying everything I'm like what the hell I lost all power thankfully I wasn't the right lane I just put on those hazards pulled up into this shoulder over here. So I'm on the shoulder. In uh, beautiful uptown Toronto. The only thing that's freaking me out is these trucks. These huge trucks are just passing by at crazy speeds. My whole car is shaking from the wind off of that. So my dad has some kind of insurance through his credit card or something for tow trucks. So they're gonna tow the car. I'm waiting for them to come and tow the car. Okay, update. I'm good. I made it. got towed thankfully everything I'm safe everything's safe we got to the dealership I mean the car's not new right the car is maybe like eight nine years old now not much on it though maybe 100 110 K I'm guessing there's 110 K on it so not nothing crazy so it turns out the engine is just gone the engine's just blown out uh, and there's no way to salvage it and we need a new engine 
It's apparently a seven or eight thousand dollar repair. Thankfully, that particular problem is actually on recall and it's gonna be covered by Hyundai. So if it weren't for that recall for the defective engine, like that'd be a disaster. Like seven or eight grand, like come on. Basically the moral of the story is I don't really have much of an update. I'm still sitting in limbo. Basically this whole season has been limbo. Just sort of waiting for some news. As I'm recording this like conclusion and as I'm editing this, it's probably like March 10th, which I was, you know, it's past March 10th. What day is today? It's March 9th, it's March 9th. So as I'm recording this, I'm supposed to have an update maybe tomorrow on whether or not we're actually gonna have this event. I'd love to do World Team Trophy if possible. It's a little different this year. Basically anyone who's going to Worlds is not going to World Team Trophy. And so whoever's doing World Team Trophy is also not doing Worlds because in Canada we have that uh, two week quarantine with hotel stuff and that's a whole other extravagant thing, but basically you're not going to be not training for two weeks and then go fly to Japan to do World Team Trophy. The only thing is I don't know if World Team Trophy is even going to happen, right? It's this whole mystery game. Hopefully we hit the jackpot this time. Again, I, I really wish I was going to Worlds this year. I, I thought I could do it this year, but uh, I guess not this year. And uh, I'm just going to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. All I'm going to say is good luck, Keegan. Hope you kill it. Do your best. And uh, yeah, on that note, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next video comes out. Hopefully, it's it's not me saying that World Team Trophy's cancelled. It very well could be. <laughs>